All right, let's look at another example that um, is in the extension here. And we've got RB, NL3, BE, and F. So there's something we can do if we have these compounds together like this. NO3, we can count them as whole compounds instead of doing individual elements. Now, it works to do it individually, but it also works to do it as compound, especially if they show up the same on this side and the other side. So NO3 is considered to be like together. All right, so RB, we have one RB. We've got one NO3. We've got one BE and two uh, F here. All right, on the other side, we have one BE, and we have not one, but two NO3s, because this um, subscript here shows us that we have two of these NO3s. And let's I typed that wrong here. This should have been a one. All right, and then we have one RB, in one F, okay? All right, so to see what's balanced and what's not. RB is balanced, that's fine. NO3 is not balanced. There's two of these, so I'm going to put a coefficient of two here, but let's see what else. BE, those are balanced, and F is not balanced. So let's start by putting the coefficient of two in front of the BE NO3 too. Um, well, that's not where I want. I want to put it here for the RB and O three. All right. So if I put a two here, that'll multiply this times two, which equals three. The N O three times two, which also equals two. All right. That balances this up. Then our R B is now off balance. To get the balance over here, put its coefficient of two here, and that will equal two R Bs, and then the F fluorine times two, I'll make it two as well. And that's it, look we're balanced. RB, rubidium is two and two. NO3, that's nitrogen trioxide, two and two. BE, beryllium, one and one. And F, fluorine, two and two. And we're done, simple as that. All right, stay tuned. There'll be another example in just a minute.